Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I'm here with um, a whole bunch of palettes that you may have to wear during this whole uh, Valentine's Day week. And they're all actually palettes that I've been doing looks with because this holiday season, I kind of bought the uh, Chucky Crazy in Love palette so that I would have a deep dark palette to work with um, during the winter time as a base and add all sorts of palettes into it. And so that's kind of what we're doing and we're going to go ahead and get started in just a second here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started with what I have on and then we'll go ahead and do uh, the palettes that you may already have but they would be good for this week this time of year kind of thing and um, the Maybelline Superstay C Plus and the Glow Girl or pardon me Glow Oil <laughs> that would be a good name too Glow Oil with the SPF of 50 so that's what I have on there as far as my base I did use the Pretty Fresh by ColourPop to go ahead and use this as a concealer for this look. And then as far as the lips, I have uh, one of the Butter Glosses from Nixon. So uh, this was in their holiday collection of this year. And then let me see what else I have here. Um, I did go ahead and grab out the MAC bronzer. This is the one in Light Rosy Radiant. Again, one of my all-time favorites. And then the color pop, and what's fast becoming a really, a really good favorite, the sunset strip color. And so that's what I have on for the blush. And then as far as going ahead and doing the highlighter, I got out the Scooby Doo one, and this is from Glam Light. Um, so you can find these on the Glam Light website, and they do do the holographic packaging, which is so fun. And so I put uh, both the highlights on today. This is the one that pulls pink, and so I went ahead and put that one on. And then this is one that pulls glow or pulls golden, and it's all glitter. So I went ahead and put that on as well. So I actually have both of them on today. And yes, they are shining to the next galaxy, and that's what I wanted them to do. <laughs> so it's a good thing that they're doing that, huh? Uh, the Usual Suspects, which is going to be the Essence Thick and Wow in Caramel Blonde. And then the Sky High by Maybelline. And I have the Mascara Primer and the Mascara. And I have both of them on today. So that's what I have on there. To go ahead, and like I was saying in the intro, um, I was playing with the Chucky palette, the Crazy in Love. This one's from Glam Light. And um, this is what I got for the winter um, because I wanted to go ahead and have a whole bunch of really dark colors to play with during the winter time. And so this is kind of what I came up with. Um, and so that's what I've been kind of basing looks around. I've been either using this, well, mostly using this palette as like a base for what out or for uh for the other shimmers that i'm using um but it has a lot of maroon red a little bit of bronze in here um but what i did today is i went ahead and used uh the shimmery black shade and i did that on the lid i went ahead and put some of the silver on top of it and then i did go ahead and put some of this shade well actually both of these shades um right above or, so they're actually on the brow bone itself and so I have some of that on there I did go ahead and use this purple shade right here as an island or as an eyeliner and I think that's all that I did so this way that it worked out so it came out as a really dark smoky kind of look which is one way to go for Valentine's Day and then to go ahead and get into the other palettes that you may already have. And since this whole week is about Valentine's, you know, you might want to go ahead and wear them. So uh, this is My Rose Will Go On by Essence. It's one of their six pen palettes. Yes, I broke mine. If I break it, it usually means I like it and I use it a lot. So it's a six pan one. Um, usually with these palettes, 
you can find them at Alta. Uh, Leaves they usually stock them at Alta. So if you want to run and pick up a pallet because you feel like you don't have one and you don't want to order it, you know, online, but you still want to do something for Valentine's Day, and I've done that quite a few times. Um, this is a pallet that you might be able to find at Alta. That usually they carry this. Um, these pallets in stock, so or in the stores, what I'm trying to say. So you may be able to find that one. The elf and uh, this one is rose water. It's a really pretty palette. They have one called Berry Bad as well. That's um, all the pink and the reds and the berries. Uh, that one I don't have, but like I said, this one is rose water. And then if you did go ahead and pick this up during the holidays, it was on the uh, Alta website. It's the Jolly Berry Jumper by Wet n Wild. It's one of their holiday palettes. But again, for, um, yeah, for Valentine's Day, I think it would work really well. Let's see. Oh, oldie but a goodie. Actually, uh, Pat McGrath on her website, came out with a new area. It's called Pat McGrath's Vault. And she went ahead and brought back some of her palettes, some of her older palettes, and they're actually discounted. So they're not full price. This is one of the ones that she brought back. It's Rose, Dec Rose Decadence, and it's a Mothership palette. And so if you um, really liked this one and decluttered it or it got too old or... Uh, whatever, you could go ahead and repurchase it off of the website. I know a lot of the times it's um, harder to find these older palettes. And so I thought that that was a really good idea because she has a lot of iconic palettes that people... And I, I know it's just so easy to put it off and say, you know, I'll pick it up later or I'll, you know, whatever. So... Um, it's good to have a second chance with palettes, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And yes, I can't figure out what I want the hair to do right now. It's, I need to get a cut or something. Okay, Beauty Bay, the Berries palette. They did just come out with a Valentine's Day palette. Uh, when you're ordering from Beauty Bay, it takes about two to three weeks. Um, but if you do have this one, definitely pull it out. It would make a fantastic Valentine's Day palette. Okay, and then one of my all-time palette, or all-time favorite palettes ever, the Garden of Juvia's. And so you could definitely get some uh, pink, well probably, yeah, you could get a couple of pink looks. You could definitely get a mixture of pink and purple looks with this one. So definitely you could do that one during the um, Valentine's, this wine and only by ColourPop. I know that this, a lot of people have this one. So if you have this one, definitely could use it for Valentine's. Oh, here's a newer one, another holiday one. This is a NYX uh, Flamingo Frost palette. Came out this holiday season. And it definitely has a whole bunch of pink and red in there. And probably would do a really good good Valentine's Day look as well. So yeah, and you can mix the browns with it as well. So yeah, really pretty that one. Oh, one of my favorite ColourPop palettes ever, the Whatever palette. Yeah, whatever. So uh, yeah, this one has a whole bunch of red and browns in it and a couple of browns in it as well. So you could definitely do a Valentine's Day look off these ones. I think these ones are in the sale area right now. There are like three or four of these larger palettes. So if you haven't picked them up and you may want to, these are considered kind of classic ones. And so, yeah, they're on a good sale. I think they're like $12 when usually they're 18 or 20. So that's a good deal. And then uh, from Flower Beauty, I have the Garden Lights palette. This is one of their newer palettes that um, just came out during the uh, fall, well, during the holidays, but you could definitely go ahead and use this for Valentine's Day palette. Another Juvia's Place, oh, this is an older one, older, oldie but a goodie. This is the Berries palette by Juvia's Place, and you could definitely use this to go ahead and get some Valentine's Day looks. 
and uh, yeah, the Pretty Please uh, palette by ColourPop. Again, this one has more of a rosy, but it no, it has some pinks in there too. So um, it has some gold, some gray, some rosy, some pink, and um, a really pretty palette to go ahead and play with. Another Juvia's Place, and actually this uh, this one probably for uh, the Valentine's Day would be your best bet from Juvia's Place, the candy shop, if you have it, because just about half of the palette is going to be pinks, all sorts of different matte pinks, shimmer pinks, uh, pinks with a little bit of brown, pinks with a little bit of gray. There are all sorts of... Um, all sorts of really pretty colors and so much of it this whole section right here is all pink so uh, definitely would be a good one for Valentine's Day if you have it go ahead and get it and this is another one um, this Garden of Juvia's and the Berries palette uh, a lot of these you can find over in Alta so if you're feeling stuck like you really don't have anything that you can wear and um, you, a lot of times Ulta will have these in stock, so um, if you want to go ahead and purchase, you could definitely probably find uh, hope the Juvia's Place and some of the ColourPop over at Ulta. And then um, ColourPop you can also find over at Target as well. And then ColourPop, Truly Madly Deeply, um, actually Ulta has this one too, so if you did want to go ahead and pick it up or restock it, um, this is one of those ColourPop palettes that has, uh, well, it's an old formula as far as the glitter, but the glitter in this uh, is just so pretty, and it's a really good palette. So I know that Ulta, at least my Ulta, still has it in um, store. And, uh, yeah, if you want to pick up one, this is a fun one to go ahead and pick up. And then the last one, I have one of the makeup palettes from ColourPop. It's going to be the Smoke and Roses palette. And this one, of course, would do amazingly well for um, getting um, a uh, Valentine's look or a couple of Valentine's look. You know, if you wanted to go ahead and do the maroon and the pink and all the fun colors. So, um, yeah. Those are some ideas of palettes that you may already have and that uh, you might want to go ahead and get out for, you know, uh, if you're doing a Valentine's party or a kid's party for Valentine's Day or a Valentine's Day date or, you know, all sorts of whatever you're doing. Um, these are some options and uh, they can give you a pinky, rosy, um, berry, maroon kind of look for uh, Valentine's Day. And then again, if you want to be anti-Valentine's Day like me, the Checky palette, you know, if you're just maybe not feeling, you know, that it's your holiday, you can do that too. So, um, ah, da -da 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 -da. I think that's just about everything. Yeah. That's about it, everything. So um, with that, I think that's the end of the video. And I hope that you have a great day. Bye.